Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to our DevOps Chats number 7. Today, we're going to talk about how to reduce AWS costs in this complicated season. Each company is looking to reduce costs, and tech leaders are tasked to reduce operation costs, reduce AT labor force, and of course, AWS housing costs. Now, let's say your AWS billing is around 20k USD and imagine cutting 10k USD out of it. Wouldn't be great? In a few steps, with this video, you will be able to reduce your cost up to 50% and this will allow you to heal your company finance without being too technical. And finally, listen people, we will provide you for free an AWS cost optimization template for your DevOps or IT team so they can run it weekly or at least monthly. But comment out on the LinkedIn post or YouTube, I want to reduce AWS costs. So let's start. We help SaaS companies with their DevOps practice and cloud development through a dedicated team and a unique niche framework. So let's begin. So cost reduction number one, use Amazon saving plans. It is a new feature from AWS. You can move your EC2 instance ECS workloads or your Lambda compute into Amazon saving plans. This feature is similar to reserved instance, but it has more flexibility on the instance type, family, region, and operating system. It allows you to reduce up to 60% of your actual cost in return for a long-term commitment for one to three years. So guys, this is highly recommended to implement. Let's go to number two. Configure your dev and test or non-prod instance with Amazon Instant Scheduler. This simple feature automatically enables an EC2 or RDS instance to start and stop in a schedule. Think about it, what are your instance doing in the nights or weekends? Well, being idle, right? They are doing nothing. So with this feature, you can start and stop them automatically on non-business hours and you can save up to 65% of this instance. Now, it's time to reduce costs on Amazon S3. Who doesn't use this revolutionary service? Well, there is a new optimization feature from Amazon which is called the S3 Intelligent Tiering. In previous years, to save costs, you had to manage the entire object life cycle between S3 S3 infrequent access and glacier objects, and this was bringing considerable operation overhead. Now, employing S3 intelligent tiering, this is fixed for you, which now automatically this mechanism is included to optimize objects by the frequent object access and is easier to save costs on Amazon S3 with just some clicks. So, the saving costs on S3 are around 20 to 30% which is pretty decent, right? So guys, enable S3 Intelligent Tier in your S3 budget right now. Aspect number four, use Spot Instance. This is an all known cost reduction technique, but multiple SaaS companies struggle to implement it because they don't know how to bid or how it really works. And suddenly the instance get terminated or interrupted. As a result, customers prefer to avoid this tactic. So, how you can take advantage of Spot Instance? Essentially, you need to have a cloud-native application, meaning that your application should have the next attributes, being stateless, a decoupled architecture, and immutable infrastructure. So, with this maintained practice, if the app gets interrupted, automatically your auto-scaling environment can bring a new instance with the latest configuration, code, and data in the sense that it is super fault tolerant to any disruptive change. Listen guys, if you have a cloud native application, don't hesitate to incorporate a spot instance. Alternatively, as a must, leverage a spot instance in non-production environments. Just remember that implemented correctly, you could save up to 90% of the EC2 cost. GC, right? So number five, Switch to Cloudflare CDN. What? Yeah, Amazon will kill me, but definitely Cloudflare is more cheaper than Cloudflare CDN. Yes, this is awesome trick, right? Anyhow, you still have to pay for the data request and transfer from Cloudflare to S3 Bucket, but just that. Now, as a tenant, 
All static content should live within a CDN such as videos, images, CSS, and JS. You know, the obvious practices. And this will help you reduce bandwidth costs. Lastly, just bear in mind that moving to Cloudflare CDN, you also need to move your domain name server or registrar to Cloudflare. Including this tweak, you might save more than 60% of your bandwidth costs. Number 6. Yeah, we got a bonus point, which is Amazon Budget. This is super useful and proactively it helps you control your Amazon billing. Now, let's say you are planning to spend 20k USD per month, and you could set it up two alerts, one for 10k USD and another one for 15k USD. If these alerts come out in the middle of the month or before planet, well, you know now that there is a problem and needs to be addressed right away before the cut of end the month. So, getting alerts about the status of your Amazon billing, it is just great. A final step, we created an AWS cost optimization template for you, mainly for any DevOps or software engineer that needs to maintain an AWS infrastructure. Guys, there are many many more tweaks that we can perform to reduce costs, that's why we included the rest of the tweaks and tips in this template. So you better get it right away. We will give this template for free to the people that comment on this post whether on LinkedIn, YouTube or in your ClickIt blog. You need to type I want to reduce AWS costs. So friends, we have concluded this DevOps Chats episode. I'm sure with these recommendations you will reduce your AWS billing between 30 to 50% of this complicated season. Additionally, you need to have a template or checklist to verify every day or at least weekly so you don't get surprises in your AWS spend. And finally, please subscribe to your YouTube channel and comment below any question that you might have. Adios amigos. Thank you.